Time to check in with Coindesk Global Policy and Regulation Managing Editor Nick Day, who is also the editor of Coindesk's The State of Crypto Newsletter. Good morning, Nick. You've got a lot on your plate. What's cooking? Good morning. Yeah, uh, it's been a busy week and it's going to be a continuing busy week. Um, in the next couple of days, we're going to see hearings from the Senate Banking Committee to uh, speak to the remaining nominees for the Federal Reserve, uh, which includes Sarah Bloom Raskin as Vice Chair for Supervision. Uh, Sarah Bloom Raskin's former uh, assistant or special advisor, Adrian Harris, was just yesterday confirmed to be the next uh, superintendent of the New York Department of Financial Services. And we found out last night that the House Financial Services Committee plans to hold a hearing on the President's Working Group report on stablecoins. And that will be in about two weeks or so. So lots coming up. So, Nick, uh, you know, to paraphrase from Prince, uh, when doves cry, in this case, it's when hawks cry, right? Because you have three, uh, you, you know, you have three nominees there going in front of uh, the Senate and the, the uh, hawks aren't necessarily thrilled, are they? No, I mean, you know, uh, we're probably going to see uh, some of that come up during the Senate Banking Committee uh, hearing, um, which is on the, uh, the 4th. And we've already seen some lawmakers express concerns about the nominees and their positions on various issues. Although so far, I've actually seen more concerns about issues like climate change than you know necessarily the fiscal policy. Interestingly enough.